18 for Lehigh, and still 12 for Princeton. Yeah, good bout there by Samuelson, able to fend off just about every single attack that came from Dugan. Dugan just couldn't find the answer. And now we're up to 197 pounds. A very big battle coming on here between Beard and Stout. Luke Stout, he's been getting hot as of late, able to pick up his last four wins, all with a full six points, including three pins, 19th ranked in the nation. The sophomore is 16 and seven against Michael Beard, 15 and two, all in duels competition. He's collected six tech falls. 64 team points while giving up just six. A barn burner here at 197. Beard is a high octane kind of guy, lots of attacks. But I tell you what, 197 has been kind of an awkward year. We've seen guys fall here plenty of times. You know, you saw Beard beat Dean. Dean obviously beating Warner once again the other night when Iowa and Penn State met about a week or so ago. And, you know, Beard also took, you know, a loss. So, like, a lot of parity here at 197 pounds between a lot of these guys. So it'll be one of those weight classes to certainly watch. Will we get a rematch between Max Dean and Jacob Warner in the finals again? Or will Beard, being in the mix now, kind of throw a monkey wrench into that? Beer trying to secure the team victory for Lehigh, which he'll do with the victory. Now has a 2-0 lead against Luke Stout, whose father, Brian, is the only four-time Division I All-America for Clarion University. Oh, it's true. I'm thinking of the wrong guy, actually, from Clarion. <laughs> but obviously, well in the family blood for, for Luke. His brothers, Kellen and Mac. Kellen graduate from Pitt. Mac now there with Pitt. And obviously, when you think of Pit and you think of 197, it is Nino Bonacorsi who right now is number one in the nation, and that's who Beard's looking to topple over when it's all said and done. For sure. There's there's going to be, like I said, a lot of parity at, at 197 pounds. You've got these two guys with, with Beard and Stout, and you know, you also, as we mentioned, you have Max Dean and Nino Bonacorsi and getting some blood time here from Beard. But yeah, there's just a, a there. number of guys that can end up coming out on top between Bonacorsi, Warner, Beard, Max Dean. You have to also look to Iowa State with Bastida. So there's tons and tons of guys coming out. We'll see exactly what happens once we get to that NCAA tournament. It's going to be very interesting to see how things go from the EIWA standpoint for both Beard, but also Luke Stout, who made the NCAA tournament last year. And, and obviously this is going to be arguably the stiffest challenge he's going to see in the EIWA and trying to get out of position here more than a minute of riding time for Michael Beard. And what stands out to him the most that kind of separates him from the, the pack of the rest of the ranked wrestlers into that upper tier. It's his attack rate. And, and one of those things that we saw, I mean, maybe he, he did have some of the, uh, some of the notes on, on his former teammate, Max Dean, but one of the things that we saw in that bout was his attack rate was very, very high. He shot a lot during that bout and was able to score a ton on his feet. So I think for Beard, it's going to be his gas tank. It's going to be his ability to score on his feet. You know, as I'm looking at the rankings here, you know, you see Bonacorsi, Beard being number two, Dean being number three, Rocky Elam out of Missouri being in that, in that number four spot, and then Bastida in that number five. So there is a good amount of guys. And Bernie Truax. Truax is another guy, um, I believe, who Beard has wrestled this so far this season. And, you know, and, and it's been a tough year for just about every single guy at the, at the top of this weight class. So you never really know who's gonna come out on top. Stout was trying to get to his feet to escape, but out of bounds, seven seconds left in this first period. And that's a quick return by Beard. He's gonna have more than two minutes of riding time with this first period complete. And again, for Beard, for a team standpoint, his victory means team victory in Lehigh breaking a three-meet losing streak against the Tigers. There's been moments in recent years between these two programs that have flipped the script 
of this match. It looked like maybe Cole Mulhauser would provide that moment for Princeton, but Tate Samuelson taking care of position in 184. And now Beer trying to get two on the reversal does. And it's these rank guys who may be able to put it away and prevent the Princeton upset. Good motion there coming from Beard underneath. He's back on top, getting that riding time cranked up in his favor here once again. And as I mentioned, it's his, it's his ability to attack. And he attacks from just about everywhere. And there's a stall warning coming on Stout as well as, excuse me, it, yeah, going to be coming on Stout underneath. He did raise that red fist, but waved that one off. And it's going to be a, a Stout warning there for stalling. Luke now getting the escape after Beer just essentially in that position opted to let go. 4 1 the score. Brian Time firmly in control for Michael Beard. Now Stout trying something, but Beard gets a hold of the right leg. And able to get away is Luke Stout. Yeah, we saw Zach Ray get up off the bench and move over into the line of sight. A beard tell him, hey, listen, we have to get moving, kick him loose, let's get back up to our feet and start working our offense here once again. Riding time is already locked up. You've got over two minutes of it, and you've been in control, so there's no real threat of you losing that. So that's why they want to see Beard back up onto his feet. And he was in on that shot, but separated his power, tried to convert a little bit too quickly. And when he, when he tried that, that's where Stout saw a little bit of daylight, was able to separate those hands and kick out loose. But now back to this wrap arm single, here is Beard, tried to kick across, look to convert to a double, and then opts to drop down to the ankles and convert another takedown here. Takes a peek at the clock, sees there's a short time left, and he's gonna ride it out going into the third, where I believe it will be Stout's choice. So Beard, he's now at three minutes riding time. He's locked in at seven points. In a position where he can up the pace, try to get a bonus, and. It would obviously just any win lock up team victory for Lehigh. Meanwhile, for Luke Stout in a tough position here. Stout chose bottom. Beard gonna give the escape to start the period. So this is where certainly takedown and cutting loose the idea for Beard. Stout 16 and seven this year, but six of his seven losses to ranked opponents. He has faced the gambit in some ways in his own right. Facing his toughest challenge yet with Beard, who gets a hold of both legs, able to get Stout down and quickly releases. Net at one point overall, 8 2 now the score. No single shot there for Beard, converted on it, immediately gave the escape there to Stout, put us back up to our feet. Approaching the midway point of this third period. We do have one more all-ranked matchup to come. You see Beard second, Stout 19th in the NCAA coaches poll. Just one spot difference between Travis Stefanik and Nathan Taylor coming up at heavyweight, although their routes to this year at heavyweight quite different as Travis Stefanik will look to earn an NCAA tournament ticket from a third different weight class this year. Here's Beard getting two more. That'll make the lead 10-3. He can hold position here on top and get a major decision, but we'll see if he opts to cut loose and try to re-attack. Yeah, and that, that is one thing that you know we've seen from Beard all year and, and just throughout his career, even in high school, is he's great at tacking below the knee. He's on those ankles just about every time, converts very, very quick, kind of like Kyle Snyder used to do and still does on the international level, attacks below the knee, converts by picking up that second ankle, and and taking guys down, and that's what we're seeing Short by time. Beard. Very high attack rate and, and very high conversion rate on his attacks as well. It's not just taking a shot to take a shot. He's attacking to score, and he's committing to his attacks, and he knows he's going to score in those times. And now he's going to take an 11 to 4 Your victory here over Luke Stout. So Stout was Michael able to keep Beard. it a decision, but Beard locking up the victory as the Mountain Hawks are going to sort a victory. 21-12 with one matchup left here. And for Beard keeping the business going, 16-2. and two. With now Nathan Taylor due 